or as opposed to inward, where you, you see what you're going to be lining up to. So, bold choice, but respectable. For me, it was probably less of a deal. It was more common, like Amelia there with an inward one and a half. People prefer to spin forwards, have a little bit more awareness. Like you said, when you come out, you can actually see the water, so you can line up a little bit better. Well, great start there from Amelia. may notice there's six springboards down on the one meters. Plenty of choice for our divers, so of course that she might have like just probably needs a little bit more form for some of the aerial work, but in terms of getting it out, I'm pretty accurate on the water too. Amelia, reverse one and a half some sorts of pike. Yeah, see that's where it's hard to toes over the board like we said earlier. You know, you, you end up not being able to push in as much as you, you want. You want to be able to push through your board. And um, you end up being maybe near half a metre to a metre lower than you want to be. And uh, it's unfortunate for Amelia because her first three dives I actually thought were really, really yeah, good. Yeah, I was able to get these dives down on the one metre. Always been very consistent down here. Back to the inward dives, Maya. And a very neat and tidy dive. Yeah, lovely. Nice entry, lovely pike shape. Slight double bounce on the um, on the old arm swing, but you know I think actually a great diver. She came up to to Leeds, thinking about coming to university in Leeds potentially. Um, cool to have, tra have her train with us. See the eight. But other than that, very nice dive. I'm sure she'll be happy with that one for a prelim. Maya, right, back to the 2.6, four two and a half some sorts of pike. Another very nice dive from Maya. Mm. Herself. She's got a, a very big jump into that last step, which is my knee almost cries <laughs> at the thought of doing, doing something like that, but she seems very consistent with it. Yeah, she's, she has rhythm with it, doesn't like she clunks the board. Yeah. A very good score, so if, if we're looking in and around those marks today, then I'd be very surprised if it's not right up there at the top of the scoreboards. Next up, Maya, same dive. Nice and neat. A bit, a bit more stand over the board, maybe slightly back away from the board. I'm not sure the judges will think of that. But actually, a very nice, neat dive, clean entry. Yeah, I agree. Very nice, very neat and tidy dive. Is Maya? She's got great form, great shapes. Maybe a little bit more balance left in it, like you just mentioned. That's a small problem with the scoreboard. Rotating, but it's always nice to see. She used to point those feet a bit more. Mm -hmm. Right, with a big hurdle step, we mentioned this one, isn't yep. it? She's collared us for. Uh... She said that she didn't want us jinxing her. <laughs> it was our fault if it went wrong, bless her. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really like Maya's diving. I really like a lot of elements of it. I think that she's very, very neat, especially in that massive jump into the hurdle step. It's a lot to take up on yeah. that knee, but it's just a little bit too early. It just gives it away that you're. It gives, it gives the game away if the judges and they can mark you down potentially. Oh, Maya with a slight over rotation on the back one and a half. Real shame, she's been very consistent so far. Again, not a big drama. A lot of things were good about that dive. Just unfortunately, just let those legs. No, Maya. With her last dive, we didn't jinx on the hill. We didn't, thank God. Yeah, I was, I was, <laughs> I was, I was worried off. massive jump, but beautiful straight lines in that hurdle yeah. step. She's precise and accurate, and I like that. Yeah, me too. Just me too. A Very sharp. Work. Yeah, a little work on that entry. Holly, another in one and a half some sorts bike. She's currently studying over in America at Rutgers University. Easy for you to say. I don't know. Can't get, <laughs> didn't even get university out properly then. Good start there from Holly. Stronger out of the two boards between one metre and three metre. Yeah, she's a good one metre diver. Nice and strong. Again, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but nice bike shape. More of how much time you have left to line up, and that's why she just lined up a little bit short there, I think. But fairly consistent again. I think Elizabeth going out to America for university, I think. 
Again, I keep saying all these things that I think and I'm not actually <laughs> not sure, but I'm pretty sure she's going out. <laughs> Holly May Pesanto. Very nice dive from here. Her highest degree of difficulty dive, but I would probably say from my experience of watching her, probably a most consistent dive for to off the sort of pipe. Very nice to watch. She's now at the university over in America. No, not training here just as often. She's starting off with the same dive in one and a half. Lovely start there from Holly. Stretch. Holly managed to stay nice and tall over the board. Great direction away from the springboard and a great entry too. So good start for them. They're precise, which is good to see. Now Holly, our leader after the first round. Her highest degree of difficulty dive in the second round. Four, two and a half somersaults pike. Oh, Whoa. very nice. Wow. Very, very nice. Really good. That's definitely going to do her position no harm whatsoever. You were saying earlier that was one of her favourite dives and yeah. it really shows there. Fantastic. Really, really, really nice I said balance. this morning, it's the... Now our leader, Olimir Presanto. First two dives, very, very good. This one again is another 2.6. And again, very nice executed. Good dive. Good step. Maybe that's why she's just going a little forward. She's kept the splash down. Yeah. She's done what she needs to do. Yeah. Really interesting one now. She's got it up. Back and reverse one and a half to finish up for Holly. Her nerve on. Fingers crossed. Kick off with this one. Very good. Yeah. Nice and consistent, you know. I think for her now, she seems to hold on and make sure she has no dramas. I think she could have done with just a little bit more look back onto that water to, to see where she's lining up to to get that more accuracy that we saw with her first couple of dives. Just a little bit clean through the wall and come out on the entry. Important that dives are able to adapt to the many different takeoffs that you can get on these dives. I mentioned many different takeoffs. Yeah. That's not one that you would want right on the corner. Um, I guess in a way she's lucky that she had a, an easy dive because that can be quite terrifying when you step down and you can see the corner of the board coming at you very quickly and you've got a big dive to do there but she's to the first round so that's going to do her no harm to drag her up to 12. Tilly with back one and a half so it's quite another very accurate dive. The synchro partner of course Evie Went just before her, they're going to be having a little personal battle potentially. That 12 spot. I think it only pushes everybody further. Maybe pie in the sky, but would you like to see a sixth dive for the females? Um, I think I would. I mean, whether the girls would want it, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. you know it's not my, it's not my um, issue to have taken an opinion on further. You need that sixth dive for yeah. to It's a good one to put points on the board and yeah, kind of relieve those nerves a little bit. of this dive, this first round. Very common opener, uh, standing backwards so you don't have the nerves of doing that one-legged hurdle step. Uh, I think that for a lot of people...